Hello friends, welcome to another video. I'm National Master Rafael Leite and I'll be playing a 10 minute game here commenting out my moves. This is a special account authorized from chess.com. Everybody that loses against me will get their rating points back, okay? We are going towards the center. This is the King's Pawn opening. So far it has no name. This is the Karo Khan defense. He's preparing to push d5. I will usually play this to um, get the opponent out of theory and thinking that I'm making a bad move, but because we're trying to be instructive, let's go to the main line. Main line d4, and now we can go for this advanced variation. This is very, this is usually played nowadays, and uh, we go to a like kind of French defense. This is very, very um, uh, modern. People are playing this a lot. So um, I'm playing with c3 here. Just we're just uh, on the French if he plays like this, but I don't know. Maybe he will may, uh, play a better, uh, improve the French defense. Who knows? <laughs> with bishop to d4, because on the French defense you don't play with the bishop. Let's see what's gonna happen. And um, I think that things are starting to get very interesting here. I'm gonna pin the knight. I'm gonna pin the knight, not allowing his. Uh, he's starting to grab some, some. Initiative. Okay, so now my bishop is attacked, and I'm. Should I grab the knight? I don't think I should. Well, maybe I should play like this, but no, this doesn't seem the right thing to do. But then I can push it, but no, again, doesn't seem like the right thing to do. Maybe queen b3. Pawn takes, pawn takes. But then I'm not protecting here anymore. Well, how about this? If pawn takes, pawn takes. I'm protected. It's very unusual stuff. Let's see how it evolves. I'm probably making very unusual moves here, but it kind of makes sense. All right. If they make sense, they make sense. He's going for the long castling. I'm going for this very nice idea. Okay, I got it now. He's gonna grab there. So with the knight here. So I'm protecting my bishop. And keeping the pin. Also attacking his bishop. Very interesting game. My pawn structure is not the dream one. It's, you know, it's not the one everybody dream about. What to do here? Queen a4 seems like a good move. Then he's gotta play this. And then I can play this, which is gonna be very, very interesting. Let's go for it. Of course, he can play rook c8 as well. So he can play this. There is also this immediate move here. Because if he takes, I take here. And then my knight is going there. I'll do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I did it. <laughs> I know this game is crazy. We started already being fun here. Funny game. And uh, with not so many, not so much funny threats here for him. Because I'm threatening this. He's going to take this. He loses the queen. Let's see what's going to happen. He's playing too fast. He's from Mexico or Italy? Italy, probably. Yeah, Italy, not Mexico. Ah. Okay, he protected, but I can still play this. Right? This is insane. Because now I'm threatening the queen and I'm threatening the pawn and I'm threatening to go here. So this is a very beautiful game. I think. Just, I hope, at, I hope I'm not blundering everything. <laughs> I just I just hope I'm not blundering everything. But look at that, very nice situation where I got two pieces attacked and none of them can, can be captured. Uh, there is a very interesting line here, but then I would be sacrificing it, why? I just go here, right? It seems like the right thing to do, but I don't know, maybe I wanna play this. And if he goes here, maybe I wanna play 
I don't know. This bishop is gonna be trapped, so can I trap it right now? I think I can. So maybe I should go here, capture and trap the bishop with h5, and I think the game will be over. Let's try this approach. Check. There. I don't know, because now you unprotected this pawn. So let's just capture here. He gotta take with the queen. Otherwise, oh, he blundered. Because it was his only counterattack. Now I think it's over, right? Where is he gonna put the bishop? Here, g4. Here, f3. Nice game. H4 paid out. <laughs> H4 move paid out. Whoa, I lost connection. That's, oh, oof. I got back. It, 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 it appeared like reconnecting. And I was so scared that I was gonna lose this game <laughs> because of a bad connection. I can even capture the bishop now, I just seen this. Don't even have to play f3. But my knight is so good here that probably I can play f3. And I can also capture here, but he's gonna capture here some counter. Let's just do the simple thing. Well, that's why he should have captured here with the queen. Okay, he's attacking there. So how about taking, takes, go here. The rook is trapped. The queen cannot go here, so let's do it. We took a piece. Just need to be a little bit careful here. With the queen entering, my king is kind of exposed, but it seems like I do have tempos to do that. Now my knight is attacked. Can I survive it? Maybe not. So not time to save the knight. Not time to save the knight. Let him spend some moves here. Maybe we just want to put pressure on the knight. So let's pin it and put pressure on the F column. Uh, yeah, I think that's the way, the, the way to go. Uh, not this way because his queen is coming for the attack. And also he's capturing this pawn. So let's do this first. And then queen F3. Pushes, queen F4. Not there, dude. Check. I will not let you move your knight. You go back. So we still get the knight pinned. And now we pile up with, with Castellan on the move 25. I don't know if Castellan or rook f1 because Castellan, he still can check me and bring the... the Okay, but I can just do this, right? And then double the rooks. Yeah, I think that's fine. Let's not be afraid of ghosts. Let's not be afraid of ghosts. Okay, good move. But you still pinned. Okay, I'll just um, not allow him to. to check me, so I'll keep the pressure here. I keep the pressure. Because I want to I wanna attack this pawn, but also I want to double here. Well, maybe attacking this pawn first is good, but I'm not sure. Maybe I should play king g2 to play bishop g3, just in case. Okay, he brought another defender. I will go for this odd-looking move. If he pushes the pawn, I push the pawn. No, this is gonna get dangerous. I don't think king g2 is the way to go. Maybe I gotta just bring the, the rook, yeah. Yeah, definitely, definitely, definitely. So he pushes, then what I do? What do I do? King g2 then? I think now king g2 is possible. Just to play bishop g3. Four minutes. 
He went for that. You sure, dude? Okay, we protect the pawn, we attack the knight. I think that uh, things are getting pretty bad for him. This pawn is protected, this pawn is protected. The queen is not defending the king anymore. So, a poison pawn, a poison rook pawn. So, I think we're going for the finish here. Let's just grab the knight. He's gonna take with the pawn, I take. He's gonna take with the check. Let's calculate this a little bit. I do here. He goes check. I go here. There's no more check, right? No more check. It has to exchange. Yeah, I think it's okay. Three minutes on the clock. Calm down. Just don't pre-move because chances are he's going to play this. Then I do this and then the game is over. <laughs> I lose. Or maybe it's, maybe it's equal, but here I'm a rook up, right? A rook for a pawn. Or maybe two pawns, because let's count this as hanging. But his king is very exposed, so doesn't have any compensation for the rook here. I mean, this, could, this pawns could be potentially dangerous if he could create a passer and... But, I don't know, my king is a little bit exposed. I got a good grip on this pawn here. Maybe I should do like this now. Uh, I need to be careful with this pawn. Okay, so, all right. He protected the pawn and also preparing to bring the queen um, to some attacks. So, I think I can play this, but then he's going to have check here, right? So, why not here? Then he's going here. Hmm. All right. What can I do? Can I push? No, no, my rook is under attack. What am I doing? My rook is under attack. I'm, I completely forgot about my rook. What am I doing? Okay, I'm going here. He's going to check. No problem. My queen goes back. What am I doing? <laughs> I almost blundered the game. Oh, gosh, that's serious stuff. The rook, okay, let's, uh, he's, he's, he wants this pawn, right? So I go in here, he'll take the pawn. Then what can I do? Can I go here? I'm gonna go here. Then I go check. No, the queen is not allowing there. Okay, not easy here, not easy here, friends. I think that here is the way to go. I think here is the way to go. It's going to go here, attacking the pawn, and I can go here. And if he goes here again, I go here. Sorry. Oh, no, then I get mated. Oh my gosh. Not easy, guys. What if I go here, he takes. I go here. And then I try to, to force the exchange of queens somehow. I don't know. I just need to play. Just, this just seems the most logical for me. So not easy, guys. Not easy anymore. Because now he's got so many pawns for the rook. And I, my time is running. And I'm running out of time. And I just need to try to do something here. If I can exchange the queens, I'm fine, but I don't know if I can. Now I can. Now it's over. Okay. But he's got some passers. The good, the good thing is that I also got my passers. So which one? Which one and why? This one, because I need a passed pawn. This one, because I need a passed pawn. One minute. It's going to be tough, I guess. It's not easy to stop those pawns. I think it's not time to get greedy. No, it is. It definitely is. I need to push the pawn and the king is cut. Yeah, my pawn is getting there first. Yeah, I promote with check. But this is dangerous. This is 
scary, right? I need to get rid of those pawns. So let's just protect this pawn first. One minute. What am I doing? Okay, there is mating. One, two. So this is one. This is two. And this is three. Mating three. Let's go for it. Yeah, guys, good game. Um, with a nice finish, when on the pre-move. Oh, I, I, wh who am I thinking I am? Am I thinking I'm on a Hikaru? <laughs> Let's take a look, a uh, quick review here. So that was a very interesting game. Tough one. Definitely a tough one. Could, could, um, things could have, wrong, could have gone wrong on, on that angle. But, but it seems nice to look at this chart and see that I definitely and dominated the game uh, in spite of some mistakes and uh, not the best accuracy in the series but definitely a good a good game let's take a look probably i could have finished the game earlier that's why some mistakes were made here let's see and a very different opening what this computer says to play here bishop a4 simple simple and sound okay then i went for this crazy ideas but okay, not the, the worst move in the world. Now pawn takes, that's why my accuracy went down. I, I didn't see any of those <coughs> ideas of pawn take. I developed, now he says it's a miss, but it's still balanced. And now bishop a4, so h4, I, I do like my move here. It's very creative and I could play h5 in the future. So this was like a very deep move. Uh, and it's a very common theme on the on the Karokan when this bishop is passed and then the pawn is here. So it's very it's a very common uh, theme and on the Karokan. So that's why I played. But the computer doesn't see it. Oh, he sees. He sees it. That's the third move. Okay. Now pawn takes. Now knight takes. Good move. Now I'm protecting this because the defender is going down. So he took it. Good move. And then a6. And then what to do here? Bishop a3. Oh my god, I found the move. I'm so happy. I'm so happy I found it. Bishop e3. Like it's a very good move here. And now he's he's in trouble. Then he put away the, he put back the bishop. And then not knight f5 here. It was a miss. It was a miss. I, I was so proud of this move, and, and the computer just puts me down and say this is the worst move in the world. <laughs> That's what stuck fish to us, right? It, it ruins our dreams. And uh, okay, I'm attacking the queen, and the queen cannot capture the bishop because then I'm going to do this nice fork. But the computer says it's a miss. Why? What, what is better here? Pawn takes, uh, bishop takes, and pawn takes, and then h5 immediately. Okay, this is simple, simple chess. And probably better because again this this bishop here is why not f3? Yeah, f3 here, right? F3, c5, queen a4. Okay, it's a complicated line a little bit. But uh, it 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 ends up winning. Knight b4 here. What? Oh the pawn is pinned. Okay, okay. We are going to mer very speculative territory. Let's just go for the reality. He found a good move here, but now I got a strong knight. And I think this was his crucial mistake here, this crucial mistake. And of course, black, white is still better here. I would probably protect the pawn for sure because I, I saw this, this was the danger. But I don't think he can save the, the, the bishop, can he? Well, he can, but my position still is very good and his king is lying in the center. So, um, any, in any way, he's bad here. But he took with the pawn and now this is immediate. And now, g4, and now, could, could capture, but I prefer f3, because then, you know, the queen is not uh, going for any counter. And then, knight takes is the way to go, but I played pawn takes, knight f7, okay, then this is just a matter of a little bit of technique, not allowing him any counter, cha uh, counter chances. And then, here was a little bit dangerous, rook f2 was not the best move in the world, Maintaining the pressure was good, and uh, bringing another pressure there was good, and now g5 is the way to go, g5, definitely the way to go. But I played this very odd move, uh, queen g king g2. The idea of king g2, the computer doesn't approve it, um, is to, to give um, support for the bishop here. So that's why I played it, but the computer doesn't complain a lot, just one little, little bit, uh, one, one pawn, 
uh, worse than the, the best moves. And now rook b1, queen g6, many ways to go. Queen e5, definitely a good one. And now rook b1 is mating. I didn't find it. I went for like this, you know, idea of going to, to, through this end game, but uh, it happened that it became dangerous. At this point, I started to be low on time and I was not sure what to do. So I played this move, which is good. And now king g2 is good. What did I play here? Queen f2. And then he took it. Now, this position is scary. This position is scary because, you know, three past and connect pawns. It is, if, they, if they can march, like, here to the seventh, like, they are worth two queen, three queens, you know? <laughs> they are worth a lot. So this is scary. And he sh is there any way he can avoid the, the, the exchange of queens here? Queen f8, queen f4. I don't think there is. Because if he's starting to go to the b column, yeah, then he's in trouble. So he would have to... Yeah, I, I mean, I can... For, oh, sorry about that. I can force the exchange, right? Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. So maybe he could be. He could have been more resilient. Now, this helped me to... Um, yeah, this helped me just to, to finish the game. Although, this seems a little bit dangerous. You know, if I do a mistake here, like... For example, after he pushes, if I go here, is it so sensitive? Maybe one mistake is not a problem, but maybe if I do two mistakes, like... Not, not a problem. Actually, many moves can be played here. Let's just try to really go bad here. Yeah, I'm just trying to do the worst, worst moves in the world. And even still, white can win here, which is... Totally bizarre. <laughs> I never imagined. I, I, I would probably think I, I was losing here with the white piece. But now if I do a wrong move, then I lose, right? Okay, yeah. So I need to do many, many mistakes here. So not easy to, to miss here. Not easy to lose. Not, not even on purpose. It's easy to lose here. <laughs> so, okay. And then we went for this. Um, this very nice shape. I, could, I, could I remove it here? Here? Here, yes, definitely queen f1 pre-move is checkmate, even for this, or this, or this. Yeah, for the three moves, this is a pre-move that checkmate, so I'm happy it worked, uh, because it was completely unnecessary, I still had 48 seconds. Guys, I think that was a good game, uh, the main lesson here, I think, is um, uh, just, just don't, just be careful with your king in the center, you know, just be careful with early queen moves. And, um, yeah, I think it was the main problem for him. And, and uh, he was already losing, but it's worth mentioning that if you can avoid the exchange of queens in, in this such an endgame here, like I came here and then came here, I mean, this was his crucial mistake because I'm losing on time here. And he's got five minutes, I got one minute. So if he can try to avoid the queen exchanges, she says, I'm going to play bad. And with the king, queen in the board, and you know, maybe he can try some perpetual checks. And uh, maybe he can get a draw here. Or he can even win if he start marching with the spawns and I do mistakes. So I think the main lesson is never exchange your queens. Your opponent is down on clock. Even if you're losing, just uh, keep your queen in the board. So maybe you can get a perpetual check or something like that. Okay, so that's it for today's guy, for today, guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for your audience. See you next time.